Now that I've got a project set up with some data into it, I can start just exploring the raw data inside my project. You can see from the main display that it's split into three parts. On the left hand side you have the data view, which will show you the sets of annotation that you have. At the moment I just have my core genome, but you can import more annotation and tracks. I can also see the data sets, which are individual data files that have been imported into the program. And I have the two files that I imported earlier. If I had any data groups, they would appear in the data groups folder, which are combined technical replicates. And the replicate sets are biological replicates where I can define uh, groups which are from the same biological condition. On the right hand side at the top, I have a view of the entire genome where I can see all of the different chromosomes on here. Uh, there is also on here a red box, and the red box tells me which part of the genome I am currently viewing in the bottom part of the display, which is the chromosome view, which is a track-based genome browser. When you import data into SeekMonk, you'll open up a data track for each file that you import, and those will open automatically, so I can already see my data in here. The way to look at both the annotation tracks and the data tracks in here is that the colours of the features that you see on here represent the strand with red tracks running left to right, so on the top strand, and blue features running right to left, so on the bottom strand. That applies both to features and to reads on here. I, get, I can also move the dividers between different panels in here to adjust the layout so that I can see the most of the parts that are important to me. As I move my cursor around, anything I put my mouse over, I should get a little bit of information about. If it doesn't appear in the main display, it will appear in the toolbar at the bottom. I've got a few basic display options that I can use for looking at raw data. These are eas most easily accessed in the toolbar at the top. First of these is that I can change the density with which my reads are showing. So if I had a small window where I'd saturated the display available, I could move from a low density to a medium density to a high density display to show more reads. And also at the top I can choose to uh, change the default which is to pack forward and reverse reads together uh, to split them apart so that I can see them separately. Moving around in SeekMonk is fairly straightforward. You can do this in a number of ways. You can click anywhere within the genome view to jump to a new chromosome and a new position to see different parts. Within the chromosome view I can move around either by dragging the slider at the bottom which will allow me to move laterally across the chromosome or I can move around by zooming in and out which is probably the easier way to do it. Zooming in and out is fairly straightforward. To zoom in you simply drag a box within the chromosome view. You'll see a region highlights in green and when you let go of the mouse the highlighted region will expand to fill the whole view. So you can do this in an iterative way and jump in fairly quickly. To move back out, you press the right mouse button or you do an apple and click if you're on a Mac and then you can zoom out. And by doing this, it's very quick to step from viewing an entire chromosome like this to going in to looking at individual bases of individual reads. So I can go right in. So fairly flexible system for moving in and out of your data. The chromosome view itself is a track based view and you can change the tracks of information that are shown uh, either the annotation tracks or the data tracks. Again the easiest way to change these is from the toolbar at the top and using these two buttons here. So this one allows you to change the annotation tracks. So in this case this is quite an old assembly so I don't have very many annotation tracks on here but newer assemblies you'll see uh, more options for which tracks you want to display. So if I wanted to remove my coding sequence track I can click on that press remove and if I wanted to put my mRNA track at the top I can just move that up and when I say OK the tracks will reorganize themselves. Same thing applies to data tracks. So here I have my two displayed data tracks and over here are the list of available tracks things that I've loaded but I'm not displaying so I don't have any available data groups or data sets. I do have a replicate set available so I'll add that into the display and now I can see three tracks on here. If you want to move around your display within SeekMonk but in a more sort of structured fashion 
you can also search for particular features in here. To search for features you use this question mark icon in the toolbar which is find feature. The default is to search for gene names so you can put in your favorite gene uh, and it should hopefully find that and if you double click on the line it will take you to it so I can see my gene there. If you put in partial gene names that's also fine so if I search for hox for instance I should get a big list of gene names which contain hox and by click, double clicking on these I can review the different matches that I've got on here. If you want to do a search on something other than just the name of a gene you can choose to search through all annotation for a particular feature rather than the name and you can choose any of the feature types that you have available. For any feature that you see in the display if you want more information about it you can simply double click on the feature and it will bring up a box showing all of the different annotations that that feature has. Any of the annotations that you see in here are searchable with the find tool. Using these basic controls you should be able to go around your genes of interest or browse through your data to have a look at how your raw data sits.